Hi, my name is Martin. Welcome to my channel and to SAS Factory. This is my world's fuel setter, the West Bay Power Station. On the right is my original fuel generator setup based on the initial recipes you get, which I have shown off in a separate video, link in the description below. On the left, however, is my new blueprinted dilute fuel power generated setup. It's three buildings that have nearly the same amount as generators as the whole of the original plant. This video is going to quickly show the blueprints I use to make this building in the hope that it maybe provides some inspiration to people who are looking to use blueprints themselves in SAS factory. This is the building itself. It's a modular setup. It takes in 30 crude oil and runs 6.6 .6 generators. It has seven inside, but they're underclocked to make the maps work. Uh, and generates a little bit of output product, depending on what you want to make. There's recipes to make fabric, plastic or rubber. Inside we have the water extractor for the dilute fuel recipe. So everything's self-contained within the building, but it means you have to build the building <laughs> over water. Uh, that's a compromise I was pretty happy to make. Uh, the rest of the ground floor is taken up with the seven fuel generators. They all run off an oil pipe supplied from upstairs. Upstairs we have the machinery to actually generate the fuel. It is two refineries, one turning crude oil into heavy oil residue and polymer resin. One turning the polymer resin into a byproduct. Um, like I say, it can be fabric, it can be plastic, it can be rubber. And then a blender underclocked slightly to match the rate of heavy oil residue and that generates fuel. The fuel is then fed back downstairs into the seven generators. The building is made up of 11 blueprints in total laid out across a 9x9 nine nine foundation. Obviously in the vanilla game the blueprint designer is only 4x4 four four, so you can't make a 9x9 nine nine building out of one blueprint. The floor plan is roughly as this is coloured out. With the lower nine blueprints laid out roughly to this pattern, we'll go do that now. So these are the blueprints used to make the building. Uh, they're labelled with cardinal directions, um, just to keep track of what is what. We'll start with the southeast corner blueprint and work our way out from there. So you can see this is the lower chunk of the building, we're just going to line that up to where we want the foundation building to be, which is along this edge and along this edge. So there. We just make sure that's in the right place. That's in the right place. So that's one down and we can start building it out from there. Put the next piece of wall in. That's on that line. Yep. Make sure these all line up. Yep. Then we can put the far corner in. Southwest ground. two of the blueprints to do because there is not enough space to fit all this into one column. Uh, so we have southeast upper, which just sits on top of there. And south upper, which sits in the gap here. So that's the first chunk of building done. The rest of the blueprints go floor to ceiling. 
So we'll do that at the middle row. Uh, I'll start with Beast. Now all the blueprints are down, there's just some connecting up that needs to be done. So the two big things are we need our water pump in this gap. Now this isn't this isn't the greatest place to do this because uh, we're running out of water, but I think I can fit one in here. There we go. Connect that in. Connect it in power. Connect it to the pumps. The other major thing we need to do is put in our 700 fuel generator. Uh, it's soft clips in this location. Um, we want the third foundation, so that's here. There we go. It's soft clips in place fine. But the soft clipping rules don't work the same when the buildings are part of a blueprint and this becomes a hard clip issue that stops you placing it. Now all we need to do is connect up all the pipes and power cables. Uh, so we'll start with the fuel. Fuel comes in here. Connects into there. And then connects into here, here, and here, and then we connect these machines up. And most importantly, we color the pipework the right color. And the fuel generator itself that we just put down. The other thing we need to do is match the overclocking on this new generator. To the other ones. Upstairs we have a couple of pipes to set up. So we have this heavy oil pipe. Which connects into there. And then this water pipe that connects into this machine and we need to set a recipe on this. So I am going to make plastic in this one. And we need to connect these up. So that is now our blender piped up. The last thing we need to pipe up is the heavy oil. We grab that pipe, connect that, connect that. Paint it because painting is the most important thing. And then we just need to connect our output to there. Now we just need to hook up some power cables. So we have a power line running up the side of the building here. Needs to be connected. Ah, clipping's low now. Um, this machine is connected into there. This machine's connected into there. And then we connect the blender's connection and that is almost it for upstairs. There's one more thing we need to do, which is fill in this roof gap, which is too high up to do in the blueprint designer. Done. We connect the cables down here. So we connect that into there. And then run that across to this generator. Run that across to this.
run that across to this generator into the new one and then onto the back row down there down to there down to there and for the finishing touch we set up the sign outside so we're making plastic in this one This is building four. And now we've hooked up the input of crude oil and the output conveyor belt. Let's start it up. Or let's not. Let's uh, connect it into the power grid first. And then let's start it up. Full damage, it is super fun. blender only needs 80 water a minute and our plastic needs less than 20 effectively because we're not making 60 polymer a minute could uh clock that down to be honest um there you go that's a use 20 polymer per minute and we are making 20 polymer a minute so we're using 6.6 6.7 water for there, 80 water there, so 95 should be more than enough to run both. We just uh, lock that down, save it processing. So this is now running at 100%. We're feeding fuel into this tank, it's going downstairs. Into this pipe and into this generator, which is now running 100% and backing up with fuel. This, wait for what I say, this valve is blueprinted to start at zero so that we can back up fuel. These other six generators are connected off of this pipe and they will all try and take 50 fuel themselves, which is a lot of fuel to get the generators coming on and cutting off again which is fine knowing so how I run this is I let this back up with at least 300 fuel and then open that valve and switch on all the generators and then once they come on they stay on pretty solidly so that's all the generators running we've added roughly a thousand megawatts to the power grid the reason why I quite like this setup is you don't have to build a load of infrastructure at once you can just build this one building few generators in a uh, blended fuel setup uses some crude oil, you add some power to your network, you can go do something else. If you're running low on power, you can come back, build some more. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. I'll catch you in the next one.